Florence City Council members all voted to shut down a nuisance hotel, citing crime calls. But the fight to close it down is not over. Way 31's Brecken Terry is near the hotel now after speaking with the attorney representing it. Brecken. Attorney Jeff Austin told me that they plan on appealing the city council's decision. And I asked him if people staying at the motel have been forced to leave. And he said right now that's a muddy issue. Now businesses operating near this motel want to see it shut down for good. They just hadn't been very good stewards of their property and very, very good neighbors. Daryl Triplett owns the sound shop right next to Florence Inn and in Suites. He said he's seen his fair share of issues from his neighbors. It seems like there's a lot of uh, drug activity and uh, just vagrants and, and different type people that, that our customers don't really feel comfortable around. And Florence police said they've had the same calls. Almost 1,000 calls of drugs and prostitutions and a slew of other issues the last few years. Triplett said it's not just an issue for his business, but his neighborhood too. One of my neighbors had somebody passed out in their backyard, didn't even know where he was at. So, you know, the neighborhood has also had a lot of problems. Triplett said he felt a sense of relief when he found out the city voted to send a cease and desist letter to the hotel and try to shut it down. So I'm very relieved that they're actually, you know, taking steps to, to do something about the problem. Now, the attorney told me that the owners of the hotel want to save it and they're willing to meet with the city to come up with a better solution. Live in Florence, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News.